not yesterday's ferry. That's how Auckland Transport has described what will be a fleet of environmentally friendly vessels. Two aluminum hybrid electric boats are being built in Whanganui with the ability to carry 300 passengers. And in Auckland, they're building two zero-emission electric boats capable of carrying 200 commuters. This boat is expected to hit the water next year for testing, while full passenger services will take place in 2025. Chief Executive of EV Maritime, who were commissioned to build the boats, Michael Eglin, says the vessels are a big move in the push for zero emissions. Really leaping into this move of electrification is a really significant thing for Auckland Transport to be doing. Uh, and, and I think both we and Auckland Transport are very grateful to central government for the role that they've played in that. He says these new boats are built to outlast the older fleet, half of which are expected to reach the end of their life over the next 10 years. I guess when you've been in the industry, as I have for 25 years, the idea of, of boats that, that you worked on in your career coming to end of life already it makes you feel old. So, um, so we really believe in engineering out end of life in our products. And, um, and so to us, um, building that longevity into boats is a really um, important piece. AT's program director for the low emission ferry program, Nathan Kamak, says the vessels will succeed where older ones have failed. Looking at the kind of capacity, so when you turn up to a ferry terminal, um, you know, you expect to be able to get on the boat, you expect to be able to get your bike onto the boat, and that's simply not the case at the moment. We've got some ferries which are just too small for, for their routes. He says they're being lined up for some of the routes Fuller's has just pulled out of. We haven't quite nailed down yet uh, which operator will operate them and, and which routes they'll be on. Um, what we do know is they're likely to be, able to be on the one of the inner harbour or mid, mid harbour routes. So that's the likes of Hobsonville, Hobsonville Point or Half Moon Bay um, or Birkenhead Bayswater, one of, one of those type of, type of routes. Birkenhead and Bayswater are getting cut in October, meaning AT will need to find a new operator. Auckland Councillor and Chair of the Council's Transport Committee, John Watson, says it's the perfect time to bring in someone new. We're beyond the sell-by date now of, of bringing competition in, both in terms of uh, building the craft, so we have some real expertise in New Zealand. Uh, we have the only builders of the only electric ferry in the Southern Hemisphere down in Wellington. Uh, we have people trying to get in to the market, trying to get in operations, and they've found that really difficult. He wants significant improvements to the city's ferry network. The latest announcement promises another 18 months of a reduced services, so that's going to be nearly three years. Uh, there's no public transport system in the world that can afford to function with, with that degree of cancellation. He says the delays that come with Fuller's reduced services are simply not good enough. Auckland is a, is a maritime city, a proud uh, city, has a proud maritime history. We should be doing a lot better than what we're doing at the moment, uh, particularly with you know, climate change imperatives. We should have ferries going to all, all parts uh, uh, of the Auckland region. Commuters will be hoping alongside new ferries comes a service they can rely on.